what's poppin y'all so we're about to get into this video by hood vlogs this is welcome to the bronx new york city hood vlogs okay let's get into it so without further ado y'all let's hop straight into the video we in high bridge right now in the bronx 167 to ogden behind you right here is high bridge projects um this is where like a boogie cardi b is from we couldn't leave the block because we always had to have somebody watching us that's the four train Anywhere you want to go in the Bronx, get on a four train on my side. I'm from the West. This is where Casanova was living with his sister. This is how we met him. He was bad as hell. He was about 16 years old or whatever. But yeah, this is where he used to live right here. Hey, it was Casanova the grittiest part of the Bronx. Right now too. So Denzel shot over here too. That's crazy. If you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. If you turn around you and you get this view and you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. And you'll also see that back there. Shit. Oh, I'm about to learn a lot in this one. Okay. I like this. Dude, I love New York accents. That's like my favorite. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's a beautiful day here in the Bronx. Swag and the way they say shit. Good people out here. Charlie Cole here. We in the Bronx, New York. My hood. On 74th in the Concourse. Louis Morris apartment. And I'm gonna take y'all on the tour and show y'all what my hood really like. This right here is legendary. We call this the square. This is where everybody came together at. We have our cookout still right here. It looks a lot different. It was way more spacious. They kind of made the thing come closer. It used to be a hoop right here. And I used to hang out with all the little boys. And I used to play ball with them and stuff like that. And it was a lot going on. Fights, shootouts. So this is like where a tomboy. I remember J. Lo shot her um, Made in Manhattan movie right here on these steps she walked through here she was on that two bus and she walked through here and me and my little brother were sitting right here on this thing right here and this is the steps that that's right there it's called walton it's called dub city mm -hmm. um shit is crazy over here that's why you see them cameras down there shit gets crazy these steps legendary these are the slopes like I said, it looks very different because we used to play ball right here. It used to be way more space. They kind of made it come up a little bit more. And up here, my moms used to call me from that, that you see that top window? The window <laughs> under it, the 12th floor. My moms used to call me from that window and embarrass the fuck out of me. <laughs> At seven o'clock every day, she used to call me and embarrass me like, Caress, mom, get upstairs, all of us. My brother used to trap that out the dumpsters right name. there. And I used to tell him when the boys was coming. I used to be like, you <laughs> The dumps is right there, and the door used to be able to open. Look, it's still open. Right and it leads you, okay. It leads you to the inside of the building. We couldn't leave the block because we always had to have somebody watching us. So we used to play right here. It's called Dub City, but it's really Walton. See, J Lo shot Made in Manhattan in that apartment right there. I'll take you guys over there. That's how big the rats are over here. You see that shit? Can you imagine playing and seeing a big ass rat like that? It was the grittiest part of the Bronx. What? So Denzel shot over here too. If you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. If you turn around you'll, and you get no. this view and you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. And you'll also see that back there. This right here is where she shot at. When she came through here, everybody was going crazy. I was supposed to be an extra, but for some reason they cut me out of her movie, whatever. I'm still mad about it, but whatever. Down here <laughs> is Jerome, and this is where she everything funny. you need to have done for your car, this is where you're going to come, to Jerome. It's like 100,000 car shops right here. Where you could come get anything done to your car for the low. The oh Dominicans is going to hook you up. This they block Everybody right got to Jerome. Six cars on this block. We all got a Jerome. <laughs> he gonna get me, he gonna hook That's you the four too. train. <laughs> Anywhere you wanna go in the Bronx, get on a four train on my side. I'm from the west. That's the east past the concourse. Um, my little brother was born in our hospital. This is Bronx, Lebanon. Um, that's Walton. That's the other side of Walton right there. This is the Major Deegan. This highway takes you to Jersey and it takes you um, to City Island. It takes you deeper down in the Bronx. Me and my little brother, when we wanted to get away from the hood, um, well, not the hood, but we wanted to get away from the block to come here and play in this park right here. There's so many parks around here that we used to play in because we don't have a park on my block. So we used to come here. It looks very different, but this is where we used to come. This is the 
four train. We gonna go inside though, so you can see how it's set up. You hear that music? That. That's how you know you in the Bronx. <laughs> you hear that music blasting. Dominican smoking their hookah. Yep, we in the Bronx. That's dope. Look at that, mad traffic, always. That's the major thing. That's really dope how like different cultures in New York just have a for each other. I like that. Where I'm from, we hella segregated. We are hella segregated. Well, this is gonna be Brooklyn, this is gonna be Manhattan. Let's go on the Manhattan side. All the train stations don't look the same. But this is the four train. So over here is River Park Towers, Cedric, um, 1600 apartments, um, High Bridge, Nelson, Ogden, 167, 168. It's the west side of the Bronx over here. This is where Cardi B and um, A Boogie is from. I'm gonna be a little late. This, this, this is another legendary block. <laughs> it used to be a nail salon right here. This is funny. Where she gets the glasses from? It used to be a nail salon from? right here. Then my mom, <laughs> it's still here. Then my mom used to come and she used to get her nails just like this. <laughs> it's so crazy. Long like this too, she used to get it. And she used to make me sit in that nail salon all day for her to get this oh, done to her cute. nails. It's still right there. We got the KFC right here. They got the best. The best beef patty with cheese and cocoa bread and uh, pepperonis. <laughs> so we used to come right here, sit on this line she said that was a KFC. for free breakfast and lunch. So we could eat, we could have a meal. You know, my mother had seven kids, so you know, it's hard feeding seven kids. So she used to tell us, come down here, get some breakfast. She used to come down here, get some breakfast and some lunch. Wake up in the morning, you go get you a ham and cheese, uh, bologna, turkey sandwich if you're Muslim. The line used to be all the way down there, huh? but it was free. You so we used to come. Juice? Apple juice, juice or the, the chocolate milk uh -huh. I used to get was my shit. <laughs> Come here, get some pizza, some Elliot pizza, what? and it was lit. You don't get yeah. clowned when you talk about school lunch, free lunch. Yeah. It's a real thing. And you got mad kids. You can't feed seven. How you gonna feed seven kids by yourself? Mm -hmm. Come on. You need millions to do that. Some people's mom just ain't, wasn't home to cook. Like. <laughs> this is Mount Eden. This is legendary. If you from the Bronx, you know. If you from the Bronx, you know Mount Eden. They on their bike life shit heavy over here. Everybody ride bikes. It's regular. But now we headed to the concourse. That's the concourse. See, I love how they talk. When it's a hot day like this, these motherfuckers is open. Oh, these shit. But it usually, it usually be blasted on the cars when they going by. This is where Casanova was living with his sister. This is how we met him. He was bad as hell. He was about 16 years old or whatever. But yeah, this is where he used to live right here. That's when him and his sister would go through it, he would come stay with my mom and my sisters and brothers. You know, that's my bro. Love him. We are in Lewis Morris Apartments, 1749 Grand Concourse in the Bronx. This right here is where I was raised at in this house. Um, seven kids with my mother. And we had to share a room because there's only three bedrooms in here. Or whatever, but what I remember from here is a lot like, yeah. you know, I was raised by my brothers, so they was real wild doing a lot of shit. And one of them is in jail for 30 years, and other one's still in the streets, but this right here, these steps is where I found my, my niche. Like, sitting on these steps, I used to be sitting on these steps all the time by myself, thinking, writing, getting into it. And it just brings back so much memories, make me so emotional, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> like, my father wasn't here. He left when I was like two. And um, what I remember is a lot of shootings, a lot of killings. I came off this elevator one day, me and my mom's, and we was going to the store. And we came off the elevator and it was guys dressed in black with um, ski masks on. And they were shooting in the hallway. And I saved my mother's life. I was about 10 years old. I walked out the elevator first and she grabbed me. I mean, I grabbed her, pushed her back and if they had AK-47s, automatic weapons. They was actually looking for my brother. And that day changed. Ever since that day, we moved to Jersey. So we don't live here anymore. <laughs> I don't blame you. A lot of shit happened here. 
But what? when I moved to Jersey is when I started to get into the music more. When I was living here, you know, I was playing yeah. ball and stuff like that. But I moved to Jersey and started getting into the music more. Um, because just I just feel like I just got to save my family for some, for some odd reason. I don't know. I just feel like if I don't make it, we're never going to make it. You know, like when you come from a place like this, it's very hard to have a bigger vision. And so, you know, just out here grinding, linking, trying to do my thing because I already know I'm going to make it. Nelson is right there. Hey, we in high bridge. I like so, her spirit. It's a little different over here, but kind of the same. So I, love I like her. Together. So we in Highbridge right now in the Bronx, 167 to Ogden behind you. Right here is Highbridge Projects. Um, this is where like A Boogie, Cardi B is from. I know a couple niggas over here that's mad motherfucking talented. Legend 67, shout out the West Side Parlay, shout out the John V, shout out to everybody in Highbridge. Thank you. Do we come this way or we go this way? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh. Where you going? We trying to go to the front of the yeah. Alright. Thank you. I like her little drip. Her little tennis drip. <laughs> that live over here first and foremost um and when i started doing music i was starting to meet artists and they was all coming from this area so coincidentally i'm from not too far from here but you know i got a couple niggas in these projects and in the building behind us that rap for real like really do this shit like they so fucking talented like i see why niggas blow up from over here because they mad talented so that's why i bought y'all over here this is a legendary section of the bronx i feel like my block in this block is more legendary in Cortland. Shout out to Cortland, shout out to Dub City. So that's Harlem right there. That's where the project start, right there. Where we going? I think around. Oh, we on the back of the block? Come on. We gotta go back that way. Oh, we came through the building, that's why. I'm liking the energy. I'm loving the energy. Say what you want about the Bronx, but we up. She shout out to Harlem, shout Bronx. out to the Bronx, you shout know, out to Brooklyn, shout out to Queens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to New York, period. I'm not throwing no shade to nobody, but whatever, take it how you want to take it. But I don't say Staten Island when I speak of New York. I'm just saying. Yeah, no shade, no tea, but you know what I'm saying? I would be able to speak to y'all if I knew somebody from there. I don't know nobody from that's our Free bank scrap. Lick it up. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, had a good time out here in New York City. Look, you cannot come to New York if you do not get a chopped cheese sandwich. You know what I'm saying? You got to get it from the sandwich? bodega, from the ox store, and you got to mix that shit up right. Kind of Peppers, is, really onions. Mm -hmm. So chopped cheese is literally what it sound like. Chop on um, ground beef or however you want to do it. Then you get okay. the, the cheese, whatever cheddar, cheddar or American. And you get the onions and the peppers, the everything, the mayonnaise, the salt. Mm. It's crazy. Make me want to fucking fly out to New York just to get a goddamn chopped cheese sandwich because I'm hungry as hell. Right, that sounds really good. Everything she just said sounded really good. I really enjoyed the energy in this video. Like after watching this video, I'm like, you know what? I, I like the culture. 
and the food i really want to try the food there is a reason why i want to go to new york and it's to try that damn food like i want to go to a bodega i want to go to all the restaurants all the shit that i hear about i, want, I need to go to but yeah y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see